Our last race from Newbury, race 21 in your card, is going to be the Peter Marsh Handicap Chase Grade 2 event over three miles. So Blazer Trail for Craig Beckwith is our top one. World Party for David Hooley, Darren Thompson's Devil's Harmony, David Robertson's Galway Dancing, Malia Mao for John Morgan, second time out, not a bad land for also for John Morgan, Velvet Curtain for Martin Needham, Faraway Shoe of Daniel French, Pontypool Racing Star of Belmore, and Pompey Millennium for Vinnie Gerard. Make up ten over three miles for the Peter Marsh. And they start just on the turn here. Shouldn't inconvenience anybody. But it's not a bad lad, which is a multidiscipline horse. Been su not successful over the, the jumps and hurdles. Well, the hurdles he's won a couple, I think. And he's not had a winner yet, I think, over the fences, but a good multidisciplined horse as they get to the first, as they go over the 18th from stablemate Malia Mao. Had one run last week. Into the second. Not a bad lad wasn't particularly good over that one. This lad is stablemate Malia Mao to take it up. From not a bad lad, Devil's Harmony up against the fence for Darren Thompson. Then we've got Galway dancing out wide in between those is Martin Leland's Velvet Curtain. We'll skip over the third. Just a length away to World Party. And then Star of Belmore up against the fence. Just the outside of that is Far Away Sugar for Daniel French. And then Blazer Trow and Vinnie Gerard's Pompey Millennium. They get to the fourth. We'll clear that as well. Blazer Trow's our top weight. Just hit the ground a little bit hard there. But no harm done. To the ditch. The fifth one we've lost one. It's Far Away Sugar that's gone. A Daniel French horse, unlucky. I might be wrong. The silks are a little confusing for me. But up front is still this Mally Yamau and not a bad lad from Velvet Curtain and Galway Dancing. And Star of Belmore, Devil's Harmony and World Party. And we've just got Pompey Millennium and Blazer Trow. So they're through the first mile, and past their point of departure. Bad lad and Mally Amal. John Morgan Yard as they go. Oh, we've lost one. Velvet Curtain slipped his jockey there for Martin Leadham. I think it could well have been because Mally Amal took it rather awkwardly as they go over the seventh. But he's out of it. So we're down two. So just the eight of them left. And it is not a bad lad and Mally Amal. A couple of links back to Galway Dancing and World Party and Devil's Harmony. Star of Belmore, Blazer Trout. Millennium just at the rear for Vinnie Gerard. I think he picked up a couple of winners last year. I think his Buffalo Line won one and his Senchi Line, I shouldn't say last year, last week. Poor jump there by Mally Amal. So, uh, not bad. I don't think why everyone was going on about the grey stables. I think uh, Vinnie Gerard's first appearance in the hunt was pretty impressive. He had a fair few seconds and thirds as well. Back to the Peter Marsh, and it is not a bad lad. The leads are Mally Amal and Galway dancing there. You one, two, three, they're in a little bit of a line. And all the horses behind them. It's a trow, star of Belmore, Devil's Harmony, World Party, and Pompey Millennium. As they swing left handed now. Through that bit of the railing there, cutting the corners, all of them. Maybe a one, two, three throughout. And Star of Belmore and Pompey Millennium. We go over the tenth of plain one. We'll take that well. Blazer Trow made a little bit of a mistake on landing. Still got his jockey in the plate though. And we go over the eleventh. Again, slow over it. Blazer Trow and his two or three links just disconnected from the chasing pack at the moment. But running sort of centre course. Of course, I was looking for a bit of better ground as they go over the 12th, and they'll clear that, including those two loose horses at the rear. But not a bad lad for a Malia Mal inside the final mile. Got a four length advantage now as Goy Dancing just slots back to join Pompey Millennium and World Party. Into the 13th, the leaders clear it. Everyone else is over it. Blazer Trail struggling a little bit, I'm trying to pick up now on and off the bridle. But up front, not a bad leg. Drives himself into the ditch. They will get over it again. So with just six furlongs to run, it's not a bad lad from Mally Amal. Here comes Star of Belmore. Closing the gap all the time and improving. On the inside of that is Devil's Harmony. 
Pompey Millennium just wide up. And just back to World Party Galway Dancing has been going backwards for a little while now. And plays a trail at the rear, but it's not a bad land. Actually going to be challenged now by Star of Belmore, a couple of Welsh wizards. And it's Star of Belmore that takes it up inside the final half mile. Star of Belmore from Not a Bad Lad running on out of the pack now. Well, it's Pompey Millennium. Malia Mao is going backwards to go over the 15th. A little bit slow, the leader there, but he's still got an advantage of three lengths. And there's still two to take. Star of Belmore goes over the ditch, the 16th. So, sorry, there's, that was three from home. There's still two to take. And it is Star of Belmore, but getting closer all the time is this world party of David Hoolian. Wider still is Devil's Harmony. So, Star of Belmore, has he got much left? We've got two to jump over that. He's got over it well. He still leads by half a length. World Party, Pompey Millennium between horses. Devil's Harmony on the outside. And it's World Party as uh, Star of Belmore gives way. World Party from Pompey Millennium on the inside. Devil's Harmony on the outside. It looks like this Pompey Millennium's got a little bit more. And it's Pompey Millennium noses in front here from World Party and Devil's Harmony. It's between these three and Pompey Millennium's going to hold off this World Party. He does. Pompey Millennium takes it for Vinnie Gerard. Horse came nowhere last week in a Grade 1 event. Turns up in a handicap, probably off bottom weight, probably out of the handicap in a grade two, and takes it. Well done to Vinnie Gerard from World Party. David Hooley in second. Devil's Harmony for Darren Thompson was third. About three or four lengths back to Galway Dancing of David Robinson's in fourth, and not a bad lad, a long time leader. Turned up just to got that £1,300 of prize place pot money for coming fifth.